Here is a swarm trap, and um, as you can see, a swarm did go in it. You see quite a bit of activity out front. So we will, we will take this down and we'll go through the process of uh, putting this in a hive. I've taken the swarm trap down. I've turned it upside down in an empty brood chamber. Then I'm going to attempt to put a, uh, uh, a shallow brood chamber on top of that so they can work their way up into the conventional brood chamber. So we'll see if it works. I, I'm really excited about this now. Uh, I'm taking the the base off of this swarm trap and look at whoop one just got me on the ear. Uh, and look, look, that is beautiful. Look, can you see that white comb? That is absolutely beautiful. Look at all the bees. I mean. There's a, that, that was a big swarm that went in this trap. So I hope my, my experiment works. And another one got me on the arm. So they're not too happy right now. Okay, here's the finished product. Uh, the uh, swarm trap, these two bodies here were empty. I said, <laughs> one got me on the lip. These two are empty. I set the swarm trap inside these upside down this is a brood chamber with drawn comb and they will they will work their self out of this swarm trap into this brood chamber here and uh, so I, uh, with, with and they'll progress on their own I, I won't uh, hurt any hurt any of the bees and so I think that'll work real well